Hello, my name is Marcello. Welcome to the Source Audio Video Design Group's YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the Omnia wireless speaker from our friends at Sonus Faber. This video will primarily discuss the design, build quality, and my sound impressions of the Omnia. First, if you don't know who Sonus Faber is, they are an award-winning luxury speaker manufacturer based in Italy. My reference two channel speakers, the Olympica Nova 5, were hand-built in Italy by Sonus Faber. If you are lucky enough to drive a newer Maserati, you may very well have a luxury car audio system from Sonus Faber. We carry the entire line of Sonus Faber speakers in our 10,000 square foot showroom, which can only be bought in store. So I encourage you to come in and listen if you haven't heard their speakers. They are some of the most natural and beautiful sounding speakers in the world. The Omnia is a high fidelity wireless speaker using what Sonus Faber calls crescendo technology, using advanced signal processing with seven loudspeakers inside the Omnia, creating an impressive soundstage for such a small device, as well as helping to mimic the live performance and natural sound that Sonus Faber is known for. By cleverly mixing stereo signals, adjusting delays, and modifying the phase behavior of the loudspeakers, the Omnia creates a much bigger immersive sound than you would expect from a wireless speaker of its size, boasting an FR of 30Hz to 25kHz. A powerful 490 watt amplifier powers the 4-way closed box system. On the Omnia's front are two 0.75 inch silk dome tweeters with neodymium motor systems and two 3 inch paper pulp cone mid-range drivers. The lower frequencies are achieved through a 6.5 inch long throw aluminum comb woofer that is positioned in a down firing configuration. On both sides of the Omnia you will find a 1.75 inch wide range inverted dome cellulose pulp membrane driver with a neodymium motor system, all in a reasonably small package weighing only about 17 pounds and with its dimensions being around 6 inches tall by 26 inches wide and a little over 11 inches deep. The Omnia does offer room placement options during the web page setup, such as near the wall or away from the wall, and allowing the Crescendo EQ to be turned on or off along with Loudest Maximizer, which when turned on, the Omnia will boost the bass at low volume levels. This must be done from a web-based setup page, which should be a native Sonus Faber app for our smartphones. Visiting a web-based setup page is less convenient than what other manufacturers provide in the wireless speaker space. There is also no customizable EQ, another feature Sonus Faber should add, allowing you to tailor the sound based on room and surface placement and your overall sound preferences. Regarding wireless connections, the Omnia has numerous options, ranging from Apple AirPlay, Chromecast, Qualcomm Aptex HD Bluetooth, Room Ready, Tidal Connect, and Spotify, with the Omnia being Wi-Fi certified. As far as wireless performance, the Omni is a wireless device. Still, for the most stable connection, it also has an Ethernet port on the rear of the unit to plug directly into your network, which allows the Omnia to be recognized quickly and easily by Rune. And this was how I formulated the majority of my sound impressions. The Omnia includes setup instructions to get it set up in your home. Again, the only recommendation I have for Sonos Faber would be to make the setup and user experience better with the Omnia by creating a native Android and iOS app, allowing you access via smartphone to get the device set up on your wireless network, adjusting the sound further for room and surface placement, as well as adjusting EQ based on your listening preferences. Suppose you're a vinyl lover and looking for a simple solution for your vinyl playback. In that case, the Omnia has a built-in MM phono stage and analog in thanks to the mini DIN switchable phono line input with supplied mini DIN to RCA cable. The Omnia also features an HDMI audio return channel input, making it great for use with compatible smart televisions with one direct connection. This is especially useful for television entertainment where you don't want to invest in an entire surround sound system or a typical soundbar. On the top of the Omnia, Sonus Faber has what they call Senso, a beautiful tactile illuminated wooden top panel allowing the user to control the sound and other settings directly from the device when not using the included remote. If you're not into the lights, no big deal. You can quickly dim them or turn them off entirely with the included remote. The remote is shaped similarly to the Omnia, which is a nice touch, with it being smaller in size, fitting well in the palm of my hand with a nice metal housing and soft rubber buttons that work well. The Omni is well built and the overall design is well done and it has won numerous awards in the last couple of years for its design. So who is the Omnia for? I believe the Omni is aimed at the high-end audio enthusiast looking for a wireless speaker in an area of the home they don't want to mess with separate components and bookshelf or tower speakers. You technically could add multiple wireless Omnias throughout the home or business for multi-room sound. A bedroom, study, kitchen, bar, lounge, and TV room to name a few areas all could be potential use cases for the Omnia. 
you are indeed only limited by placement. The Omnia can be used creatively throughout your home or business with a power outlet and Wi-Fi to create a high fidelity sound that is primarily a plug and play experience after setup. The Omnia is currently $1,999, which includes a three-year warranty from Sonus Faber. It is offered in a warmer walnut finish, as seen in this video, or a graphite finish, which may lend itself to a more refined industrial or commercial space. Although Sonus Faber makes their speakers by hand in Italy, the Omnia, like most wireless devices these days, is made in China. So how does the Omnia sound? First, there is plenty of power. You can play the Omnia loud, louder than I expected, and the 490 watts on tap are there for listeners with larger listening spaces. Listening to Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, I was highly impressed by how dynamic, natural, and engaging the Omnia sounded for a wireless speaker with good imaging and soundstage that travels much farther than the actual size of the device. The overall sound quality will greatly depend on where the Omnia is placed, as well as what you put the Omnia on, and of course, how your room contributes to the overall sound. The Omnia sounded its best in my sound-treated room, allowing for an immersive listening experience. If you didn't realize it, you might not believe you are listening to a wireless speaker. There is good resolution and excellent vocal reproduction from the Omnia. Listening to Melody Gardot's If You Love Me with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra was stunning. And I know I sound like a broken record. Still, the vocal reproduction was superb for a wireless speaker, placing the vocals larger and taller than where the device sits. This is also a considerable benefit for watching movies. The bass of the Omnia is deep and punchy sounding, allowing you to feel the bass when listening to modern pop or electronica. A little tip, I think overall the bass may be best when turning on the near to the wall setting on the setup webpage. However, it's worth experimenting with in your room. The treble is a bit relaxed compared to the mid-range and bass energy of the Omnia, which will suit a larger audience of listeners. For the treble heads of the world, you may want a bit more energy in the higher frequencies. At louder listening levels, the Omnia will not sound as effortless and holographic as bookshelf speakers or towers with separate components. However, you shouldn't expect it to for $2,000, and that is where the rest of the Sonus Faber line of speakers, your preferred amplification, DAC, and streaming solutions come into play. Overall, I think the Omnia is a home run in the wireless speaker space for Sonus Faber, and if they created a native app for setup with customizable EQ settings, it could be a grand slam. Of course, sound preferences are very personal, so as always, we recommend listening to the Omni at your local dealer if possible. And if you're in the SoCal region, we would love to see you stop by and hang out with us and listen to the Omnia and the entire line of Sonos Faber speakers in our 10,000 square foot showroom. If you're interested in trading up your old headphones, amplifiers, or other gently used audio gear for a new set of speakers, check out the links in the video description to our trade up program. And don't forget, we will price match other authorized dealers. We have some cool videos coming this year with new product announcements, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know. From $150 earphones to multi-million dollar home audio, cinema, and automation systems, TSAV is a hi-fi enthusiast paradise for building the system of your dreams. So let's start the conversations in the video comments on what you think of the Sonos Faber Omnia. Do you have a favorite wireless speaker system? While you're there, smash that like button for us. Until next time, friends, remember, let the music be your guide.